Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make these lovely clay earrings along with the mirror decoration and it looks absolutely beautiful and also I will share how to make the matching finger ring using clay and mirror decoration. So without any delay, let's start with procedure. Here I am taking molded clay by Fevicryl in which you get hardener and resin mixture. So you have to take both the clays in equal quantity and mix it very well till it get in white color. So I have already prepared little bit of clay. Now I am taking one small dough and rolling it on my palm. Then take little talcum powder on the surface and make a small chapati using any pen or roti. So in short you just need to flatten it and make a circular plate kind of thing. Then I am taking one bottle cap and cutting it exactly in a circular shape so that you will have nice round circle base for the finger ring like this. Then I am just putting it on plastic bag and exactly in the center I am sticking one circle mirror like this. Then taking little bit of more clay and making a long pipe then I am just adhering this pipe around the mirror like this then using paper cutter I am just making small cuts between equal interval on this clay pipe like this then for the next row I am going to add small clay balls so we just need to take small quantity of the clay roll it on the palm and your small clay ball is ready so I have already prepared some more so just sticking it around this Then using small fine ball tool, I am just making small hole inside each ball like this. And then for the last row again I am adding one thin pipe around this after that I am using my paper cutter again and diagonally making cuts on this outer clay pipe 
don't make a deep cut you just need to make an impression of the cut on this clay and the basic design of the ring is ready now allow it to dry completely for 7 to 8 hours then i'm proceeding for the earrings so in the market you can get easily these kind of domes which are uh, specially made for silk thread jewelry so i just took one plastic base from that set and again i'm flattening little bit of clay on the surface and then apply a little glue on this dome and i'm covering it completely using clay cutting the excess clay from bottom also on the top make hole which is already there and this is done allow it to dry then using one pencil i'm just holding it so that we can decorate the remaining thing on this dome so you can use any pencil like this to hold it then in the bottom part of the dome i am going to attach clay balls just like we created before for the fingering put it on the plastic surface and push all the balls towards the bottom side do it with very light hands now taking some more clay rolling it on the surface and using small pipe i am just decorating like this Now exactly in the front part of this I'm adding some more piece of pipe Then using the ball tool I'm making texture again on these pipes in the same way i am adding two pipes here and two pipes here now here i am taking one round flower cap and sticking exactly on top of the jhumka or earring while the clay is wet and now allow it to dry completely so our jhumka is nicely dried and hard so i am just passing one eye pin through this before that i am passing one pearl and then passing through this flower cap hole then adding one more pearl on top of this cutting the excess wire from top then passing one earring hook from this and then twist the wire using plier and the jhumka is ready now it's time to color it so for this i'm taking my dark blue colored chalk paint and i'm mixing little bit of black with this to make the navy blue shade you can use any color of your choice you can change the color as well i just wanted to make the darker shade that's why i'm using the here navy blue color 
So just color it completely from outside and inside. Similarly, I am coloring the finger ring base using the same shade. Then Taking back the jhumka and to give little highlights to this I am taking metallic wax in silver color by little birdie Taking little wax on the brush and just applying it with very light hand on the jhumka So all the raised parts will get colored with this silver shade And it will enhance the beauty of all the work which we have done on the clay Similarly, I am adding texture on the fingering base like this. Then, between these partitions which we have created, I am adding six small size mirrors. And then using gold acrylic color, I am doing little more highlights on these clay balls and on the textured area. Now taking the fingering base, adding B6000 glue on top of this and then sticking my beautiful handmade clay ring on this. Allow it to dry for 5 to 6 hours till that time I am just varnishing my jhumka. Similarly I will varnish the clay fingering as well to protect it permanently from water and moisture. In the center of the ring I have added this gold pearl chain and the finger is ready to wear. It's looking absolutely stunning for the festive season and Along with that you can wear these beautiful jhumkas. Isn't it looking very pretty? You can make it in any color combination. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. I am waiting for your comments and suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.